and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to take care of just one problem from the more difficult problems in our workbook on CPCTC and circles. Okay, so just as a reminder, CPCTC means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And we also learn in circles that all radii of a circle are congruent. So the question here asks us, uh, a radio antenna is kept perpendicular to the ground by three wires. Okay, so let's um, draw this out. What we know is that the radio antenna is kept perpendicular to the ground. So we're going to draw a uh, radii here. And then we're going to draw a little box here that says that this is a right angle. They are staked at three points on a circle whose center is at the base. Center is at the base, right here, of the antenna. Justify that the wires are equal in length. Okay, well, let's just say that the top of the antenna is point A, and the center of the circle is B, and then this particular point is C, where the wire is attached. And I'll call this D, and this is going to be point E, where that third wire is attached. So I know that AB is congruent to itself. And I'm not going to write a two-column proof. We're just asked to justify this in a paragraph form. So AB is congruent to AB. And we know that by the reflexive property. And I know that the uh, antenna AB is perpendicular to the ground, so it's defined. So I know that ABC is going to be congruent to uh, ABE, uh, which is going to be congruent to ABD. And the reason is because all right angles are congruent. So all right angles are congruent. Okay, so first I have a side. Let's draw this in a different pen color. So first I establish my side. And then I establish an angle. And then I know, I know that EB is congruent to BC, is congruent to segment DB. And the reason for that is because all radii of a circle are congruent. So I can say that. And there is my side. So I know by the side angle side postulate that the wires AC, AE, and AD are all going to be congruent uh, because I have three triangles. And AC, AE, and AD are all corresponding parts of those three congruent triangles. So by CPCTC, I can say that AC is congruent to AD is congruent to AE. And we'll say that by CPCTC. So corresponding parts of congruent triangles. I have triangle ABC now by SAS which is congruent to ABE, which is congruent to triangle ABD by SAS. So because I have three congruent triangles, their corresponding parts are going to be congruent as well. AE, AC, and AD, the wires are all going to be equal in length.